Hi, this is Richard Quack here coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. And the topic is your self-image creates your reality. Now, this is very important. If you want to be successful, then you have to change your self-image. Okay. Now, life gives you what you believe of it. Isn't it true? What you believe in yourself, that is what life gives back to you. As the saying goes, whatever you think about, you will bring about. Life gives you what you believe you deserve. So what do you think you deserve? Because what you think you deserve is what you're going to get out of life. All right. And these are all at the subconscious level. You may not be aware of it, but subconsciously, you are getting what you deserve. That's it. Okay, so remember, life gives you what you believe of it, and life gives you what you believe you deserve. So what do you deserve? What do you think that you deserve? All right, now, so what do you believe? What is your self-image like? Most people, I can assure you, their self-image is very low. That's why they do not have much success in life. All right, your self-image plays a very important part in your success. In short, your self-image is how you see yourself. So how do you see yourself? You cannot outperform your self-image. Do you understand that? All right. You cannot outperform your self-image. So your self-image will dictate your success in life. How you achieve in life. What level of success you achieve in life, it depends on your self-image. All right. You cannot outperform your self-image. You can do this. You need to change at the subconscious level. If you want to be successful, you got to change at the subconscious level, not at the conscious level, because your self image is at the subconscious level. Now, let me give you a simple example. All right. Now, your self image is like a thermostat. A thermostat. All right. It's like a thermostat. Now, if let's say it is in the uh, cold country, right? You have a thermostat. Why? Because you set the temperature, all right? And the moment you set the temperature, the room temperature will be at that level, okay? But somehow, if you open the door and the cold wind comes in, the temperature will drop, all right? It will drop temporarily. But after a while, it will go back to the set temperature. That is what your self-image is like. All right. Example, another example I can give you if you're talking about children, all right? If the children is always getting C in, in the exam, getting C in the exam all the time, that means the self-image at C. Now, maybe on a certain period of time, the parents, you know, motivated them, inspired them, give them reward, you know, and their, their, their self-image could increase and now they will probably have B or even A for that matter in the exam result. But you know what? After a while, it will drop to C again because that is the self-image. All right. Now, another example I can give you is, you know, when you see a, a pilot, all right, on a plane, it is set on autopilot. The plane is set on autopilot, all right? Now, it is set on autopilot. And what happened is that when there is, a, 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 what do you call it? A, a strong wind or whatever it is, you know, um, the plane will change the direction slightly, all right? But you know what? After a while, it go back to autopilot again, the direction that has been set. So basically, the self image is like that. That means if you see yourself as a B student, you are always a B student. And if you see yourself earning, say, 5,000 ringgit a month, all right. Now, 5,000 is quite a lot in Malaysia. Anyway, but anyway, let's say you, you set your goal to, to be uh, 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 1,000 ringgit a month. All right. That is your self-image. Now, you cannot outperform your self-image because no matter what you do, you will eventually end up with 1,000 ringgit a month because that is your self-image. That's why I say you cannot outperform your self-image. Okay. Now, the truth is that you teach the world how to treat you. You teach the world how to treat you. You teach others how to treat you based on 
the energy you give out. On the energy that you give out, you know, you train people how to treat you. That is why they treat you that way because of how they see you. All right, because what is in your mind, what you deserve and what you deserve out of life. All right. Now, what is your self image? Ask yourself, what do you think you deserve on a subconscious level? Because that is your self image. All right. You may say, you know, I want to be successful. I want to do this. I want to do that. But basically, at the subconscious level, you cannot outperform your self image. So, how do you see yourself? What is your self image like? A lot of people have got very low self image. That is why they cannot perform well in life. The self image is low. They think that, you know, oh, I'm so unlucky. You know, I don't have good education. Uh, you know, my parents uh, did not uh, support me because they come from a poor family and so on. All those are things are your self image. All right. So you got to consciously and then subconsciously improve your self image. All right. Over repetition. All right. That is the only way to change your self image. All right. On the subconscious level. For me, honestly, you know, I think I deserve the best. I deserve the best on the subconscious level. Not on the conscious level, but even on the subconscious level, I know that I deserve the best. All right. I deserve the best. I deserve the best of what life has to offer. I deserve help and happiness. I deserve prosperity. I deserve a good family. I deserve to have good relationship. That is what I will receive because that is what I see myself. That is my self-image. So that is what is important for you to sit down and ask yourself, what is your self-image like? Because you can never, never outperform your self-image. Okay? Your self-image is like the guidance system. All right? When it is set at that level, it is at that level. Like I said just now, if you are set at 1,000 ringgit a month income, you cannot outperform that. You got to improve your self-image. Then only then you can change. Okay? Now, the truth is that you deserve the best, my friend. Do you know that you deserve the best? But life gives you what you think you deserve. So what do you think you deserve out of life? Do you think that you de deserve the best? Or you deserve what you are supposed to get, what you're supposed to receive. Now, a lot of people don't have high self-image. All right, even they go for a job interview, you know, uh, the, the, the interviewer asks, how much income do you think you deserve? They think lowly just to get the job. All right, you should have a high self-image because you are unique. You are the only one in this world. You are one of a kind. Okay? Now, what I want you to do now is say together with me now. Let's do this affirmation together, all right? I deserve the best. And I experience the best. Write this down and say it loud every day, a few times a day. I deserve the best and I am experiencing the best. What you experience, all right? Remember that what you experience, God, the creator, is experiencing it through you as well. Yeah, uh, the infinite intelligence of God, for that matter, also is experiencing it through you, through you. So, you know, if you are not doing well, okay, you are struggling in life, you are not doing justice to the creator. You got to be doing well because you are born to be successful. You are born to be rich. You are not born to be poor. You're created in the image of the creator. You are created in the image of God. You can do whatever you want. The only problem is that here, our self image is too low. Okay? Now, this is a wonderful world. Do you believe it? It's a wonderful world. Okay? And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Are you grateful? Remember, you cannot outperform your self image. So if you want to be successful in life, you want to change your life, then from today onward, you got to change your self-image. You got to think highly about yourself. You must think that you know you deserve the best in life. Like I say just now, let's let's uh, 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 do it again. All right. What is the affirmation? Let me see. Okay, the affirmation is important. The truth is that you deserve the best in life. 
I deserve the best and I'm experiencing the best. That's what you should be saying. I deserve the best. So say to yourself, I deserve the best and I'm experiencing the best. There's no second. It's always you must be the best. If you want to be successful, my friend, there's no second best. All right. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope you learned something here. I think this is a very important topic because your self-image is what is important because your self-image creates your reality. Okay, it creates your reality. So let me summarize to you what we talk about here. Life gives you what you believe of it. Life gives you what you believe you deserve. So what do you think you deserve? On the subconscious level, what I mean, all right? Your self-image is how you see yourself, all right? And your self-image is like a thermostat, a thermostat, you know? Once it is set, whatever temperature, it goes up or go down, it come back to the set level, okay? That is what, that is your self-image. Now, you got to think about it this way, okay? At your subconscious level, you have the best of what life has to offer. You have health and happiness, you have prosperity, you have a fantastic family, and you have a fantastic relationship with people. You got to deserve that. Okay? Life gives you what you deserve. That is important. All right, so this is a wonderful world, and I'm grateful. Remember, you cannot outperform your self-image. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something here. It is a very important topic. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. I appreciate you for your time that you spend with me here. And I will see you again on a Friday for another session of my weekly video. And this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.